My name is Rachel Arangas from 8A. Today I have Yojana ma'am with me to tell us more about Billabong. So ma'am, do you think the students get enough opportunities to show their talents? Yes, definitely. In our school, we have lot of uh, things that showcases the students' uh, talent. And also we give them a lot of platform to uh, showcase their talent in sports field, also in literature field. Uh, we send them for uh, inter-school competitions wherein they can definitely explore a lot of things. Yes, Do you think uh, the sports get enough importance in school? Yes, definitely. Our basketball team is the best team, I feel, in the city. Uh, and also we have a lot of sports activities happening which is already blended in our school. So definitely our school uh, will be one of the best schools in sports in the city. Okay, ma'am, do you think the idea of blended learning enables students to learn better? Yes, definitely. Today's world is the tech, tech world and all the students today are tech savvy with their mobiles and iPods and so many other things. So I feel that thing definitely helps learning in a better way and remembering things in a better way. Hello everyone. Today we have with us our art teacher, Aarti Ma. So hello ma'am, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good too ma'am. So what do you think of Billabongs? Billabong is the best school in Thane and I want to be a best school in India. And, and my Billabong school is the first international school in Thane. Oh, uh, great to hear it. And what do you think? Do you think the children of the school are getting enough opportunities to show their talents in art? Of course. My Billabong children are very creative and they are participating in a several competitions and they are showing their talents very nicely in front of the world. with me is Artisha ma'am to tell us something more about Billabong. So ma'am, what do you think, uh, do you think the discipline system of our school is good? Uh, see, our school operates on a premise that uh, the child is grown up enough to understand what is good for him or for her. Now, under such circumstances, we don't want to be uh, seen holding the rod all the time. So, we explain to the child that this is good for you, this is good for your school. And then, the child has to make his or her own choices. Unfortunately, this is not the way it works, the way we want it to work. You know, most often that's the way it is. But we hope over a period of time, people will, children particularly, will understand where they're going wrong and they will check themselves. Rather than have a policing system, the uh, internal growth would be better possibly when the children themselves understand where they are going wrong and what they could improve, do to improve themselves. Okay. Ma'am, coming to English, do you think the books in the library are appropriate and good for students to read? Uh, to be very honest with you, I haven't gone through all the books, but uh, whatever I have seen so far, fairly they give you a wide range of books to choose from but the complaint I have from my students are that uh, they would like to read something beyond their grade level for example there are children in class 8 who would like to read uh, J.R.R. Tolkien but uh, it is not made available to them because it's not in their grade I, I just have a word with uh, ma'am about this and of course some books are really good but then the children are too young to read it right now but uh, I think I shall get around to simplifying things. Hello everybody, my name is Rachel Arman and here with me is Lakshmi ma'am to tell us something more about Billabong. So ma'am, is Billabong high up to your standard? Uh, well, the question is quite good. Yes, it's up to my standard and uh, beginning with my career, this is my first school and the second year in Billabong. Where in like uh, the last year, where I could see the students are like, a little bit different from the rest of the students. Uh, uh, like early in my training period what I could see. Students are quite creative, they have openness to the idea and same way even I can explore my idea and like togetherness gives like something new. The curriculum of the school is good and does it put pressure on students? Uh, no, I don't really think so because uh, the way the books have been designed is based on the CCE pattern that is comprehensive learning which means like it's uh, partially the activity based and partially the theory based. If you come across with the textbook, it has more of activity. So whereas the students are like doing it on like you know experiential learning which is happening out which do not create much of the pressure and nowadays after the government rule uh, which is like more student friendly rather than the teacher friendly so overall it's a good learning process which is going on. So hello everyone today today we have with us our PE teacher Preeti ma'am. So hello ma'am how are you? I'm fine. 
So, ma'am, do you think the school gives equal importance to extracurricular activities? Yes, of course. We have other than CC activities, many more options. Many organizers, many outside clubs are giving us invitation and possibly we take part in all the other activities which is not included in our CC activities. And do you think the school offers students enough opportunities to show their talent in sports? Yes, of course. They have enough opportunities. Rather, we are entertaining many outside tournaments and competitions, which is not a curriculum of Billabong. But then too, we entertain every outside tournament and we see to it that the child should get a scope to participate in different tournaments outside. Thank you. It's an interesting school. It has always been amongst the top five schools of Thane and maintained its integrity among the top ranking schools of India. Oh, that's great to hear. And uh, what do you think of Billabong's discipline manner? There should be a scope of improvement as there are students who do not allow the teachers to teach uh, and, and it becomes a problem for the students to grasp the knowledge. Yes, but there are some kind children and humble who are keen to learn. What do you think of them? Do they get proper chances? Um, I feel pity for them as the students who make a lot of noise, they do, there's a problem created for the students who are disciplined to grasp the knowledge and to try and get, understand the teacher what she is explaining. Okay, Hello everyone. Today we have children's and third grade. So hello, how are you? What is your name? Please be have a choice. And our good name is Shubha. So we have a test me and Shubha. Me and Shubha. So hello, please. Which is your favorite subject in Middle Science. Science. What do you like in science? Natural disaster. Natural disaster. And who's your favorite teacher? Manji. Manji teacher. And what do you think means Middle Bomb special? Sports. Sports. What in sports? Especially what sport do you like to be? Basketball. And hello Shubha, how are you? Hi. Okay, who is your favorite teacher? Manji. Manji teacher. Which is your favorite subject? Literature. Literature, that's great. And what do you think means Billabong special? Sports. Sports. And which sport do you think is special in Billabong? Basketball. Oh, both of them are basketball fans. Thank you. I'm Advai from grade 8 day. And today we have with us Atharva and Chasha from grade 10. So hello everyone. Hello Chasha and Atharva, how are you? Okay, so what do you think of Bilbo? Uh, it's a really good school. It has been improving from years. And what do you feel? Uh, I joined the school in 7th grade. Since I've been to school, uh, I have liked the school. The sports facilities that we have in the school are quite good. We also have Educom which helps us interact with the teachers. Okay, and what do you feel about the discipline system of Bilbo? Uh, the school is quite disciplined, except some, but it's still it, it's improving. Okay, and what's your opinion? Uh, I'm the discipline captain of the school, really? so I actually know what the discipline is. It is better than what it used to be, That which means it was extremely bad before, but yeah, it, the school is changing with the coming of the new principles. Okay, thank you, Sashangana. So we have Devamshi to tell us something more about Willowbrook. So what do you think makes Willowbrook so special? I think it is the, 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 the teachers are very uh, good to the students. Most teachers are very good to the students. And uh, there are uh, many students in the classroom, but uh, in, in my previous school there were very few students. So we, we got to know each other very well. And here there are different types of uh, people we could uh, get to know about. Do you think the school offers enough opportunities for students to show their talents? Yes. And is the curriculum good? Should there be any more improvement? Or do you think they could stress you? No, I think it's fine. Good. And here with me are the third standard. What is your name? My name is Priya Shankar. And you? Shankar. Okay, what do you think the answer makes Billabong so special? To study my Billabong so special. And you? The Edubong makes Billabong so special. Okay, which is your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher is Nidhi Mahal. Okay, which is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is making circles, geography. Okay, and you? My favorite subject.